Okay, I'll close my eyes and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well eight, done, thanks. Nine, no problem. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. <gasps> hey, you guys aren't even hiding. I thought you wanted to play. We do. We just um, we ran out of time. We were gonna hide behind these boulders, but... <laughs> boulders? Those aren't boulders, Tiny. They're stools. Stools? Like the things you sit on? They don't look very comfortable. No, you don't want to sit on those. They're, you know, dinosaur feces. Feces? What are feces? You know, poops. <gasps> no way. Those are poops? But they're huge. And there's a gazillion of them. Well, we're big dinosaurs, and we eat so much we poop a lot. But they're right out here in the middle of everything. Don't you need to go, you know, behind something when you poop? <laughs> what could I go behind? It's kind of tough to hide a Brachiosaurus. Hmm. You have a point, Ned. Yep. When we have to go, we just go. Like that! Whoa! That's a Brachiosaurus poop? Yep. It's the size of a big rock. That is so cool. <laughs> hey, your poops are all kind of green. Is that because of all the green stuff you eat? I guess. I never really thought about it. It is, buddy. All poop is the waste part of what we eat. So different species have different poops, depending on what they eat. I have a hypothesis. What we eat and don't use turns into poop. But even poop can be food for this little beetle. Look, he's rolling some of it away. Huh, interesting hypothesis, buddy. So nothing is wasted, not even our waste. But one thing's for sure, since everybody eats something, everybody poops. And the more you eat, the more you poop. Believe me, I know. I guess you're right. I always got so embarrassed by it, but now I can really see that it's no big deal. Everybody poops. Mom, I don't think I'll have to do my tiny dance so much anymore. When I have to go potty, I'll just duck behind a bush and go. That's great, Tiny. I'm so proud of you. <coughs> oh, the dinosaur train. It's just about time to leave. Brenda, thanks so much for having us. Sure, Mrs. Tyrannodon. Come back soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks, thanks for, for the games, Ned. Bye, Buddy and Tiny. See you next time. Dinosaur train. Dinosaur train. Once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said,